Hello ho there, neighborinos. Time for yet another weekly reset guide in Destiny 2. If you didn't already know, this is going to be the last weekly reset in Season 4. So do keep that in mind. If there is anything that you need to do in Season 4 still, best get on that buzz now. Thankfully, your titles and, well, thankfully most of your titles will be addressed by, will not require seasons. However, in the case of Crucible and Gambit, those will require seasonal resets. You will require it. They will require that you reset your rank in Valor and or Infamy. See, there you go. Gain bonus Infamy for the week. Okay. So, if you couldn't already tell, Mercury is the flashpoint for the week. Uh, next up on the Traveler. She wants your 5. She wants your 20. Um, let's see. Let's check out what is the Clan Reward for the week, shall we? Um, so, before we, act, before we get started too much, I will annotate the video so that you're able to find precisely what it is you're looking for. Be it Gambit or Crucible bonuses or anything like that. Or, you know, anything that you may need going forward. Okay. What does Tess have for us this week? Eververse is at your service. Okay, so she has swinging the dust off, a couple weapon ornaments, and an arm ornament. And she has a three three armor ornaments on the prismatic facet thing. Hey, why not? Yeah, that'll work. For the insurmountable skull for it. One of the very same things that he is g that Zer gave out just yesterday. Yeah, that'll work. Let's see, sleeper's bundle. Ornament for the sleeper. Iron or ornament for the Fighting Lion. Rolling start for a sparrow. Some bright engrams. Weapon ornament. And Thunderlord ornament. Thank you for shopping at Eververse. Um I was considering checking out Shacks and stuff for a moment, but those are daily bounties and they rotate well daily, so I'm not even gonna waste my time with those. What does the Gambit want from us this week? Call me Drifter. This week, 
He wants us to do super stuff and generate orbs of light and all that kind of stuff. Still has your bounties for completing completing your infamy rank three times, twice, and once. Let's see what t what Soraya has for the clan this week. Tell your clanmates I said hi. Okay, so this week the clan pass the clan summoning raid challenge is the summoning ritual challenge. Take care of yourself, okay? And if you haven't already heard, the Thunderlord will come forward in season four in seasonal or er, the exotic engrams. So if you didn't get it from the quest, then you'll have a chance to do so next time. Here in about a week. Um, so let's see, what does the Vanguard want from us? As always, that one still wants to complete a daily story mission, complete your strikes, and complete your nightfall stuff. And this week the nightfalls include a garden world, lake of shadows, and tree of probabilities. Let's see. You still got your daily and your weekly gambit matches. In the crucible, the featured playlist of the week is breakthrough. Uh, 4v4, four v four v four. so this one, <laughs> okay, so this one will work towards not only your valor, but also your glory, so do keep that in mind. Next up, let's, actually, let's check out what Spider has for us this week. Okay, so this week the featured bounty is the Silent Fang. Okay then, I need that one. Um, he's also got Hyraxis Familiar, the Saturn Survivor, the Gaul Devotee, Neric Reborn on Nessus, Devourer Dog, EDZ, Pandrock, Pillar of Nothing, Vargul, Golmut on Titan, Thon Hul on Titan, Mazon and the EDZ, Queen Breaker in the EDZ, Prince of Yule and Tegel Shore, and the Metal Captain in the EDZ. Okay. Next up, let's check out 
what Petra has for the week, shall we? Ooh, she's right here in the Revalian Mists. Right next to where you spawn in. Of course, we've got the usual bounties. Ascendant Challenge and Blind Well. And of course, your daily bounties for the week. But what is the mission of the week? That we'll have to find out now, won't we? Now, what do you want us to do this week, Petra? The well is charging. We continue to hold our ground. Press on, my friend. This week, the bonus is for the Oracle engine. And like I said, there's the daily bounties, Ascendant challenge, and blind well completions. And... If you are able to complete the unstable charge of light, that will be all, well, I can't say all, it will be half of the blind well that you need to do for the week. So, complete your blind well, do your ascendant challenge, do your eight daily bounties, five of which generate per day, and of course complete the oracle engine. And that is your weekly reset guide. If you liked it, let me know. If you hated it, let me know. If you want to see more of these videos, can't do it if you don't tell me. And as always, don't forget to tell me how I'm such a horrible person for playing a game you hate. Ta-ta.